Hi guys and welcome to episode number 12 here of Project Pathos. First of all, thank you very much for watching. It is much appreciated. And if you have not already clicked that subscribe button, it'll be much appreciated if you do hit that subscribe button. It just gives you a quick notification anytime that we bring a new episode out. And today is Friday, which means it's giveaway day. And unfortunately, I couldn't get a, a, a little picture at the side of me there. But today we are going to be giving away the Leal training shirt. So it's just a simple, plain training shirt. I've only wore it once. It is more or less brand new. Uh, what I do like about it is uh, I love the uh, the Lille badge. What a badge that is, guys. What a badge in world football. So, yeah, guys, at the end of this uh, episode, we are going to, to be asking, uh, giving you a question that you need to answer, and you can win it wherever in the world. I will send it wherever in the world as well. So, guys, it is a size large. So, um, it's a good it's a good size large as well. It's not really a small fit. So, if you're a size large or even a medium or even an extra large that you like it a little bit tight fitted, then, uh, yeah, guys, it's certainly a nice little shirt to, uh, to win, basically. Now, guys, we've got a massive, massive episode today. We're only playing one game today. We're going to be playing it more of an extended, more extended highlights. Um, and it, we're going to be playing uh, Ludigrets Razgras. Now, let's take you straight into the save and let's show you whereabouts we are at the minute. So, guys, as you can see here, um, if you didn't watch the Twitch episode yesterday on Thursday, because obviously Thursday night, uh, we 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 had a, an okay an okay stream. To be fair, we uh, we started off on the the, the first Lemosol game there, where we won one nil, and then we went into a Coca Cola Cup uh, first and second leg, where it, we got beat three nil at, uh, away, and then we won three nil at home, went to penalties, and we won on penalties. So we went into the quarter final of the Coca Cola Cup, which was great, uh, and then we then played the Europa Conference. We played a couple more league games and we played the Europa Conference League game against FC Utrecht. And it was an amazing, an amazing 3-2 away win against FC Utrecht. Again, it was all live on stream, so you can actually click the link below and you can actually watch it back if needs be. Uh, so it was an absolute amazing stream yesterday when it comes to results in a way. But what it, what that's actually done now, it's brought us to this last game against Lugo against Razgras. And it's, it's going to be a decider. So if you look here at the top of the table, uh, at the top of the, the screen there, uh, Vasa, uh, Victoria de Gamirez have already qualified, but it all comes down to this final league day, this final fixture day, where uh, Utrecht are away against uh, Victoria de Gamirez and we are at home against Ludias Razgras. So theoretically, we're kind of in a favourite favorite scenario here, where we actually could get that second spot. And what this means, then we then go into the uh, into the knockout stages of the Europa Conference League, which will be a massive, massive. First of all, financially, it'd be great for us. We'll be getting more finances uh, from the from the Europa UEFA. Uh, and let's anyway, let's see how we can get on in this game against Lozgras, Razgras, uh, Ludogres, Razgras. Sorry, uh, and uh, let's just see how we get on. We're going with Tony on the left and Tyrese Dawn on the right. Two amazing wingers. Um, Tony can actually play central as well. He's, he's just an amazing signing this season, without a doubt. Uh, we're going with Berrigo and Hepburn Murphy up front. Uh, Berrigo is on absolute fire at the minute. I believe he scored around uh, around about 20 goals. Let's just have a look, actually. Well, yeah, he scored 21 goals throughout the whole season. Uh, I think there's around about 12 in the league that he scored as well. So, yeah, absolutely amazing, amazing uh, form for uh, Kevin Berrigo. Uh, we're going with Punchin and Velikari in the centre. Uh, the, the the one change that I have made is at left-back, where we're playing with uh, Silas now instead of some Menachem. It's just that Menachem needs that rest. He really does over the over the games that he's been playing. And if you do look at the actual side as well, uh, the Pathos squad, sorry, everyone's more or less happy except for unfortunately Bruno Wilson now the only reason he's unhappy is because he's unregistered for the Europa Conference League but listen it's not a problem we're going to, we're going to take this game into our stride we're going to watch obviously that other game as well with the FC Utrecht one and let's see if we can somehow get that second spot it'd be absolutely amazing now if we do like I said yesterday's stream was absolutely fantastic and again if you didn't watch it you can watch it back but yeah they, they they're a they're a pretty easy side. We should really be winning these at home as well. Uh, come on, lads. We potentially could get to the first round knockout stages. So, basically, giving them what the what the what they need to know. Uh, again, given saying that we need, we've got loads of faith in them. Uh, resign. Don't make your politics system. Do you have plans to stop him? We always have plans to stop him. Okay, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Big game. Here we go. Big game. Okay, remember guys, we need to keep an eye on that Utrecht, uh, Utrecht game as well. Here's Seelis. Seelis. Comes back out to Ariore. Ariore. To Punchin. Seelis to Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos out to Hepburn Murphy. 
Here's Hepburn Murphy. What can he do? Pusses it back out to Punchin. Punchin to Dolan. Zay Carlos. What can he do? Can he put it in? He does. It's in. It's a goal. It's Rushin Hepburn Murphy, guys. Gets in there. His fifth goal of the season here for Paphos. And he makes it 1-0 to Paphos. Okay, so we're doing our bit. Is Victoria de Gamera doing their bit against Utrecht? Let's have a look. Great little goal there. Bit of, a, bit of a scramble, really. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's still nil-nil at the minute. It is still nil-nil with Utrecht and Victoria de Gamera's. But we're doing our bit, guys. We are doing our bit. As it stands, we do go through as it stands. Like I said, we need them to draw or lose, of course. We're 11 minutes in. We're playing well here. It's Tyree Stolen. Tyree Stolen, look at that. He's doing what he does best, just driving up that wing. Bit of a poor ball, really, but Tonya picks it up. Comes into Jason Punchin. Punchin to Velikara. It's Dolan. Is he offside? He's not. And it's cleared off the line there from well, from their player, but Hepburn Murphy just nearly scored there. But Okay, we are on top of him. Uh, Possession-wise, 61% possession. Shots on shots, doing, we're doing well. XG's really good as well. So uh, we've started off really well here. Really well. Little prayers going out. Let's see green faces here, boys. Green faces, that's what I want to see. Thank you very much. And it's still nil-nil. In that uh, Victoria, Victoria de Gamera's and FC Utrecht game, we are still in that second spot at the minute. This is unbelievable scenes, unbelievable scenes. Here's Camilo Size, Size to Sealus, Sealus to Punchin. Camilo Size just trying to find that little gap, trying to find that little gap through. And here's Velikari, Velikari finds it. It's Tonya, Tonya makes it 2 0. Paphos, we are doing it, boys. We are doing it. We are doing our bit. Please, Victoria de Gamera's, please score. Please, let's get to this knockout stage of the Europa Conference League. It would be absolute massive, massive news. It, listen, guys, Paphos have never been in the, never been uh, past the, the mid table of the league. Never mind winning the league last season, uh, and never mind also getting into the Champions League, which obviously we got knocked out, and then the Europa, the Europa League proper, which again we got knocked out. But now we're in the Conference League, giving us basically a second chance, and uh, we are on fire, here, guys. Here's Tyree Stolen. Tyree Stolen to Velikara. and he gets lost. It gets lost. Here's Kovachev. Kovachev. Oh, it's, it's an own goal. Camillo size tries to clear it and it, he hits punching. It, he hits uh, Ariori straight in the back and he makes it 2 1. Wow, we did not want that. We did not want that. Okay, we'll go to positive for a minute. Do a little encourage shout going out. Nothing too much. Condition wise, everyone's looking well. Franco Tony's a little bit. Franco Tony and Velikari, just keep an eye on them. Okay, so it's 2 1. It's a. Uh, it's not as uh, not as comfy as we was at two 0 of course. So okay, guys, we're going at half time and we have absolutely dominated that game. Sixty two percent possession, eight shots, four on target. XG is looking good at one point eight one. Uh, passes complete eighty eight. Tackles one eighty five. Guys, I'm very happy with that. I'm very very happy with that. Individually, we're not there yet in regards to um in regards to averages. But listen, we'll we'll we'll, we'll crack on. I think I think we're doing real. We'll crack on. It doesn't sound right, does it? We'll crack on. <laughs> uh, we're doing well. We're doing well. Nothing, nothing to worry about too much. Nothing to worry us about yet. Oh, and straight away, thirty seconds in, Franco Tony gets an injury. Wowzers! Potential foot injury. That is not good at all. Um, we're gonna go with Dennis Rakels on the left. Dennis Rakels on the left can easily do us a job there. What score is the Vasco game? What score is that Vasco game? Give us a Vasco game. Where is it? Where is it? It's still nil nil, guys. It is poignant. It is poignant at nil nil. We are still, still in that second spot, guys. Let's hope that Utrecht can. Uh, and it's fast goal. Uh, Victoria de Gamirez gets in there. Bruno Diarte. Bruno Diarte has scored for Victoria de Gamirez. And it is looking absolutely perfect now here for Paphos. It is looking perfect. Let's hopefully um, get another goal to try and seal the winner. It comes in Dolan. Dolan picks up to Hepburn Murphy. Hepburn Murphy back to Tyrese Dolan. Tyrese Dolan. Bit of an easy shot. A bit of an easy save as well, really, for Rain in there. Let's hope that Ludogorets Razgras don't pick up their farm here. And let's uh, let's put a little focus shout going out. And it's still 1-0 to Victoria, which is absolutely fantastic news there, guys. Fantastic news. Razgrad with a throw and it comes into Tyrese Dolan now. Tyrese Dolan picks it up. He drives on that right hand side. He's on the yellow card. He needs to be careful. Velikara into Punchin. Punchin. Punchin with a shot and it got his lovely blocks. Comes back out to Punchin. 
Wondering what can you do? Can you find that gap? It comes into Kevin Berrigal. Here's Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos with a shot and it's just over the bar. Great shot there from Zay Carlos. And Victoria de Gamera is a still, still 1 0 up, which is amazing, guys, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look. It's a corner to us, but let's have a look at the. Uh, let's have a look at making another couple of substitutions. So we're going to go with. We're going to go with Sonny Manichem on that left hand side, and then we're going to go on the right hand side. We're going to go with Jarrelio on the right hand side. Velikari whips one in, and he gets nodded away. Ariori picks it up. Ariori to Camelo size, size back to Ariori. Playing from the back here is Kevin Berrigo. Berrigo now should drive through that middle because he shouldn't be in that position. He does, but it comes into Dolan. Say Carlos, say Carlos. Comes back out to Punchin. Could they hit us on the break here? Could they hit us on the break? 84th minute. We do not want them to score. We do not want them to score. Away, 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 away. Great tackle. Away. No, no, no. Away. Oh. Wow, that is lucky. Rudkowadi covered. 85th minute, guys. Uh, FC Utrecht are still 1-0 down, which is amazing. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of time wasting in there now. It would help if I press the right buttons. Let's whack the tie wasting in there now. That's short and everything. Short and the tempo. Let's not run at defence now. Let's get stuck in as well. Get stuck in. But still stay, still stay, uh, still stay positive for attacking. Hepburn Murphy picks up. Love little ball from Rudko there, by the way. Is Hepburn Murphy? Hepburn Murphy out wide to Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos to Jarrelio. Just come on. Jarrelio could have sealed the deal there. Could have sealed the deal. What score? What score is that other game? What score is that other game, guys? What score is that other game? Where are we? Where are we? I can't find it. I can't find it. Why can't why can't I see FC Utrecht? Why can't I see it? What are you trying to do to me? Come on. I think I need to come off it and then go back on it. The skin's being a little bit uh, temp temp temperamental there. Why? 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 Why has that game gone off? What's going on here? Conference League. They 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 trying to put they trying to uh, give me an heart attack here. Still two one. Oh no. Guys, come on. Let's pick it up here. We'll stay up. We'll, Come on, we can do this here, we can do this. Get into him, get into him, away, away, away. 93rd minute, guys, we are hanging on by our teeth now, we are hanging on by our teeth. 21 shots, guys, 9 on target. And that is it, guys, that is it. I think we have qualified for the knockout stages of the Europa Conference League. We have absolutely dominated that game, dominated it. Look at the stats there, 64% possession. I cannot believe it's only 2-1. We've had 10 shots on target as well. The XG of 3.03 against 0.35 as well. That is crazy, absolutely crazy that game it only ended 2-1. Uh, Franco Tonya injured as well, not happy about that, but great goal as well from Franco Tonya. So, guys... We have made it to the knockout stages of the Europa League. Guys, absolutely fantastic. I am so, so happy here. So happy. Let's get to that first, uh, that first news article and let's see. Uh, look at that, guys. Get in there. Get in there. On our first, first ever attempt in the Europa Conference League, we have made it into the knockout stages. Wow. A close, close game there against Bradsgrass. But uh, Victoria de, uh, de Gamera's have done us a job there. They have beat Utrecht by the looks of it. And they have. And, guys... Happy days, happy days. What what score did it end up actually? But uh, in the end, we can actually hopefully see it now, please. Why can we not see the FC? Oh, there it is. So it did end up one nil. It did end up one nil in the end. It finished one nil. So Bruno Diata, thank you very much, mate. You have put Paphos into the knockout stages of the Europa uh, Conference League, and now we're going to see now, guys. Before we end the stream, we're going to see who we have drawn in the quarter final. Just a little bit of bad news to share with you guys as well. Franco Tonya with that ankle injury. Uh, it's a twisted ankle, but he's out from four to seven weeks. So, yeah, a bit of bad news there from that uh, injury. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We have got a bit of backup on that left-hand side and in that central as well. So, so guys, we have drawn Slavia Prague in the first round 
knockout stage of the Europa Conference League. We do go into a second knockout stage then, and then it's a quarterfinals, semi-final, final. But as you can see, guys, there is some big names in there. So in the first knockout stage, these are the teams that have basically finished second in a way uh, in their league. So we we play. Uh, there's some big names in this this just even in this knockout stage. Rangers are in there, Basel in there, Zenit Saint Petersburg, Malmo, uh, Maccabi Haifa, AZ, Bastichas. Uh, Olympiacos, Midtjylland, there's some big, big, big names in there. And that's not even before we get into that second round where the guys who have won the leagues also then come into this round as well. So the the, the, the likes of Burnley, uh, the likes of, uh, obviously, Victoria de Gamerez, uh, the likes of uh, Lost, uh, Locomotive Moscow, um, who else as well? We have, uh, I've already had a look at Locomotive Moscow, uh, Benabache. Uh, who else have we got? Zena, uh, Shemrock Rovers? No, <laughs> I was going to say, I thought Shemrock Rovers got into the uh, the, the second round then. Uh, uh, Pulzan, there is loads of big names in there. Big, big names. Uh, who else as well? Who else? Yeah, there's loads anyway, guys. So, guys, this is the question. The question to win the Lille shirt. Which team did we overcome to get in that second spot of that UEFA Conference League group? Was it A, FC Utrecht? Was it B, Victoria de Gamirez? Or was it C, Burnley? All you need to do is answer in the comments below. Uh, we will draw on Tuesday night stream on Twitch and you'll see if you can win yourself a Lille training shirt. A pretty cool Lille training shirt as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you do like it, please hit that like button. Also, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Again, it's free to do, and you will get notified when we are uh, doing another episode. So guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you on episode number 13 next Wednesday. Take care. Bye now. Bye-bye.